Stephen J. Nesbitt of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette has a terrific column up in which he investigates the latest intersection of sports and politics as a result of players kneeling for the national anthem. Those players, of course, have joined Colin Kaepernick's crusade to bring attention to the inequality people of color deal with when interacting with law enforcement. Baker was a reservist in the Marine Corps from 1968 to 1974. Nesbitt notes, but he didn't tell his players they shouldn't protest by kneeling for the anthem. Baker said, sports can't be silent. They want you to be silent, but this is a microcosm of our whole society. It's more of a microcosm than probably any other occupation in the world. How many different jobs have as many Latin Americans, blacks, whites, Europeans, Asians, American and from Asia, Africans? You understand so how can it be separate Baker continued, these guys have ideas. They've all been raised differently. They've got some Republicans in the clubhouse. They've got some Democrats. They have some Trump supporters. They have some Hillary Clinton supporters. So how can it be separate they're actually like the fans themselves, but they've just got a baseball uniform on and you go watch them play. Baker also discussed that some things may seem better now than they were when he was younger, but other things have gotten worse. There was anti-Vietnam. There was riots. There was segregation. There were more things then than there are now. Things have improved in many ways, but they've regressed in many other ways. We have a problem. Anybody who doesn't think we have a problem, they need to look around and ask the young people. And we do have a problem. Follow at Bear. Bill as you are likely aware, there was a tragic mass shooting in Las Vegas on Sunday night as a gunman opened fire from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino towards attendees at an outdoor Jason Aldean concert. At least 59 died, and over 500 were injured in what was the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. Brewers minor league pitcher Bubba Derby was in attendance and helped protect two young women he had met at the concert, as MLB.com's Ben Weinrib reports. Derby was in attendance with family including his parents, aunt, a nephew, sister, and brother-in-law. Derby said, there were these women who were sitting there literally frozen in fear. We started picking people up and shoveling them to the exit toward the back, and we all went that way. Derby later met up with his sister and brother-in-law in the lobby of the hotel and began helping people in need of medical assistance. There's a ton of people lying on the ground crying, scared. There was a corner that they designated for the wounded. My brother-in-law is a firefighter and used to be an EMT, and you see these people, and they ran over and immediately started helping without hesitating. They're grabbing gloves, they're grabbing gauze, bottles of water, they're helping these victims who are facing injuries that they never thought they'd face in their lives, and they're scared. They don't know where their family is. Especially running out of the venue, you see these victims carrying wounded people. It was incredible to see all these people helping each other. It was amazing and warming to see these people stay in harm's way to help other people who seemed helpless. They sat there crumpled with fear, and these people went out of their way, into the eye of the danger, to help. That was incredible. At a time like this, it was refreshing to see in such a negative, negative day. Derby said that processing everything that happened that night is definitely going to take a little time on my end. Derby. 23, spent his 2017 season with Doublea Bioloxi in Triplea, Colorado Springs. The Brewers acquired him early last year from the Athletics in the Chris Davis trade. Regardless of which team you root for, it will be easy to cheer for Derby going forward after his acts of heroism on Sunday night. Follow at Bear. Bill.